Eva Duck. Today was a peaceful, perfect day. Chirp and Peep woke up early, <laughs> ran a race, ate a watermelon, had a seed spitting contest, and then they found a quiet place to sit and watch the sunset. You know what, Peep? The last time we had a peaceful day like this without any sign of quack. <gasps> was the day he got his head stuck in a tree? We didn't even know where he was. And his head was pointy for two whole days. Peep and Chirp rushed to find Quack and make sure his head was okay. Quack, are you okay? Quack! Wait, wait. That's right, uh-huh, uh-huh, a little to the left. And now a little to the right. More, more. There! Is that enough logs? Um, boy, um, well, uh, how many is that? 89? Or, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. What are you doing, Quack? Arranging the seating. <laughs> the seating for my big-time concert? Oh, yeah. Do you really need this many seats? Um, no, 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 no. You're right, Chirp. I need more! More logs, Beaver Boy! Aye, aye, Blue Sailor. Ah, oh, it's so great being the boss of a beaver. Hey, you want to know what I'm singing? There's nothing like a duck. All 57 verses. It'll be classic. That's what you sang at your last concert. Exactly! Here, I'll give you a preview. There's nothing like a duck. You can look, but you won't have any luck. Because, like I just told you, there's nothing like it. Mm. Oops, I forgot. My vocal coach wants me to rest my voice. Vocal rest. Squirrel? Is your vocal coach? Of course! Every great singer needs a couple. Quack's vocal coach was firm. Quack had to rest down in his pond and not speak at all. He had to save his strength and his voice for the concert. But I have to talk. Ducks have to talk. It's what they do. Quack finally agreed. He would stay in his pond and not say another word until concert time. Have you ever had to stay in a pond and not talk? Trust me, it's hard. Quack was bored and hungry. But then help arrived. Pee! Hi, Quack. Were you calling me? Did you want something? What? Quack wanted an acorn. But how to tell that to Peep? I don't know what that means. You want an acorn? You want another acorn? Okay, I'll go find one. This was very exciting. Quack had managed to talk to Peep without talking. By late afternoon, Quack had worked out a duck code, and Peep was explaining it to Chirp. Since Quack can't talk or leave his pond, he figured out another way to tell us what he needs. Three slaps means, come here. A gurgle means he wants an acorn. 
Two gargles, Minty wants two acorns. Uh, Minty wants a raspberry. And a sneeze means you can go now. You remember all that? Uh-huh. And that means bring me an acorn and a raspberry, then go to my bush, get a stick, hurry back as fast as you can, and tickle my feet. I will never remember all that. Peep decided to write down the duck code so Chirp would remember it. So three slaps, one, two, three, means Quack wants us to come to the pond. The squiggle means a gargle noise, which means Quack wants an acorn. The circle is a which means he wants a raspberry. Finally, the duck code was all written down. I think I've got it. Should we do a test? That's a gargle. And a gargle means an acorn. Quack wants an acorn. Right. Do you really want an acorn? That's a... Which means... You want a raspberry. Where do you get the raspberries? There's a bush over by the tree next to the rock that's near the flower. Got it! Quack just loved being the boss of a chicken and a red bird. He kept them busy all day and part of the night. Don't tell me you want another raspberry. That makes 37 raspberries. How do I get out of this? I don't know. Maybe we should... Rain! It's raining! I love rain! Well, not really, but... Bye, Quack! Gotta go! It's raining! There's nothing like a duck. If you ever get stuck, you'll need a duck to get you out of being stuck. Here comes verse 57. In a pond, there's a lot. Even though it was still raining on concert day, Quack sang all 57 verses of There Is Nothing Like a Duck, and it only took two hours. Cause there is nothing. Here we go, big finish. Like a duck. Thank you. Yay, Quack! Clapping isn't in the duck code, but it's a sign that you liked something. And even if you didn't like something, it's the polite thing to do. Thank you, thank you. Next time, we'll fill those seats. I can tell you that much. Yes, thank you. You're too kind. Do you want an encore? Are you sure, really? Because I don't mind at all. I am learning about codes at school. A way of communicating without using words. So we are making up a family code. We decided to use stomps for everybody's name. The older you are, the more stomps you get. Better start to write this down. Nico is one stomp. Nico is one. You would be two. Christian, today's special donuts. Three stomps. Mama, cuatro pichotones. Four stomps. Papa, cinco pichotones. Five stomps. And then clapping is for food. One so, two fists. So that's cheese stick. I'm saying daddy. Cheese stick. So he's bringing me a cheese stick. <laughs> thank you. You said thank you with words, but we have to say that in code. Thank you. Gracias. My brother Christian came home, so I'm teaching him the code. 
We're in the kitchen. We're going to have a snack and we're only going to use our code. Whoa! Try making your own code. Major funding for this program has been provided by the National Science Foundation. want to sing. Oh, it's spring, and ducks are thinking about spring and duck-related things. La -da -da -da. Chirp was enjoying a different kind of music. What a beautiful song. Did you hear that, Quack? I did. Wrote it, sang it, heard it. Glad you liked it. Not your song. The Robin song. It was like spring. The meaning of spring. That? Cheer up, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. That's not a song. This is a song. Ducks are good. Ducks are best. Ducks are duty to than all the rest. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. A song has words. Robins can't do that. Yes, we can. Oh, I'm a red robin and I'm singing this song, so I just proved that you are wrong. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, but look, you can't sing. You're, you're not a duck. See, here we go. This is a song. It's made by a duck. If you're not a duck, then your song is all wrong. Quack. I can sing just as well as you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Hi, guys. What? Why are you singing? Because I'm trying to show the ducks sing the best. And everyone knows that except certain red birds who won't listen to ducks. I, I, I can go longer, you know. Ah, I did. Peep, don't you think that I sing the best? Come on, be honest. Aren't you impressed? You both sound good. Sort of. But look what I found. Peep showed them a bar of soap, something these birds had never seen before. What is this thing, Peep? This Whoa. thing that you found? This Whoa. thing lying on the ground? Ah. I don't know, but it smells nice. Kind of like rain. Mmm. It smells like flowers. A bunch of rainy flowers. Once more, you're wrong. You're out of luck. Because this thing here, it smells like duck! Mm. Or like food for a duck! Yeah! Oh. Yuck! Like I said, it smells like flowers! Duck! Flowers! Duck! Flowers! Hey! Why don't we just say that it smells like a duck in the rain holding flowers, okay? Okay! So, what should we do with it besides smell it? Hey! I 
think you'll all agree This thing should be with me In my Pond He makes me so mad He's such a greedy stuff-taking dog Chirp, can you please stop singing? It's hurting my ears I can't Because then Quack will say Only ducks can sing And it's just not true Hmm you see, Pete, this thing makes a very nice boat for me to sit on and float. <laughs> That's not funny. Hey, it's those things again. What things? Oh, yeah, right. Um, where was I? Those round, floaty things. I saw them once before. Remember I told you, but you didn't believe me. Hey, stop popping! Come on, I have to show Pete! Strat! They were right there, the things, but I don't know where they went. It's nice and slippery now. <gasps> I have an idea. <laughs> Even with soft bubbles, soap is still fun. You can ride it or kick it, spin it and twist it. Oh, why am I singing about soap? I don't really know. Can I stop now? Thank you. <laughs> Ugh, I'm sticky and gooey. I think I'll wash off. Quack! You've got things all over you. It's those things. They've come back to me. Beautiful rainbow circles. How did you do that, Quack? Well, I just went into the water. You could do it, too, if you weren't such a scaredy bird. Uh, uh no thanks. Look, <laughs> Chirp, they pop. <coughs> okay, stop. That's enough. You're tickling. <laughs> You're tickling the duck. That is tickling the duck. <laughs> Let's come back tomorrow and play some more. Good idea. Are you ever going to admit that robins can sing? No, no, -uh. don't think so. Well then, goodbye. Oh, why can't she just admit that singing is a duck's job? Maybe by tomorrow she'll forget all about it. Boy, I sure hope so. Yeah, mm. You know, a bird who won't stop singing is pretty hard to take. I know. Bye, Quack. Goodbye. <laughs> Quack was very happy to rest his voice overnight. But all too soon, it was morning. Wake up, duck, wake up. It's time to get up, duck, get up. Will you stop with this singing? You're making me crazy. I won't quit until you admit that Robins are. Hey. Where did it go? That thing we were playing with. Oh, it's right here. I was sleeping on it. What? It's gone. Someone stole it. Then I was watching it all night. I didn't take my eyes off it for a second. I don't think. It's on your back, Quack. That can't be it. That thing's tiny. <sighs> That's it, all right. It smells exactly like a duck in the rain holding flowers. 
How did it get so small? You probably sang it to death. Huh. You know, there's one very good thing about this. What? You finally, finally stopped singing! Stop it! And that is what's called a taste of your own medicine. We are going to play with some soap on this table. I'm trying to see if the soap can slide. The soap doesn't really go that far. Here's the water. Put the soap in. Ah! Now it can slip. Yeah. yeah, now it goes really fast. Let's get the table nice and wet. Vamos a mojar la mesa toda. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> you can play hockey. The more soap sets, it gets more slower. Because it's sticking to the table, isn't it, Isabella? The circle one goes more quicker. This one's littler, and it can go more faster. It doesn't stick to it. The round one spins a lot. The rectangle bar doesn't. Let's build our ramp. We are going to slide the soaps down the ramp. I'm trying to make the dry soap go down the ramp, but it's not slippery enough. What's happening? Nothing. Helen is getting it nice and wet. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a race. Una, dos, tres. The soap that's clear is more slippery than the non-clear one. <laughs> Ready? Try having fun with slippery soap. <laughs> 